Boy detective recovering tonight from three gunshot wounds. He was reportedly executing a warrant last night when things turned dangerous. Pix 11's Katie Corrado is live in Rahway with new video and reaction from neighbors. Katie. Ernie, we understand that one of the neighbors rushed in and applied a tourniquet to the officer's leg to help and stop the bleeding. The suspect who reportedly fired those shots is in custody. The sound of gunshots startling neighbors on Maple Avenue Wednesday night. Sam, who did not want to show her face on camera, says she and her husband were in the middle of making dinner. I like dropped to the ground with two lemons in my hands. He was like, you know, get down on the ground. And we were on the ground for a couple minutes, and then he got up and locked all the doors, closed the blinds. The Union County Prosecutor's Office says Perth Amboy detectives were in Rahway to arrest 20-year-old Angel Santiago, a Rahway resident and a suspect in an aggravated assault that took place in Perth Amboy on Tuesday. As police approached, shots fired. A lot of gunshots, a lot, like uh, a lot more than five. And like bang, 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 bang. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that's gunshot. And yeah, you, I used to hearing that in, you know, Rawway, not Rawway. A Perth Amboy detective was hit three times in the leg and rushed to the trauma center at Robert Wood Johnson Hospital in New Brunswick. He is expected to survive. Santiago was shot once in the leg and treated at an area hospital. He's now in custody. Neighbors say the area is known for frequent police activity. You know, it's, it's always, the cops are always over there, so. When you hear something like that, you automatically know it's coming from that way and not from this way. But to hear those shots so close to home is still unsettling. That's surprising. I was shot. I was shot. That, and it's really sad. I just, it's sad to see when that's happening in your town because you want to feel safe. The Perth Amboy Police Department says their thoughts and prayers are with the detective for a swift recovery and commend the bravery and professionalism of the officers. Attorney General Matthew Platkin releasing a statement that reads in part, our heartfelt thoughts are with the officer who was injured, the responding officers, their loved ones, and all families impacted by gun violence. Investigators also recovered a handgun at the scene. The case remains an active investigation, and if you saw anything that might be able to help prosecutors, you are asked to call the Union County Prosecutor's Office right away. Reporting live in Rahway, New Jersey, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.